Ladies and gentlemen, today is a very, very exciting day. Anyone who's watched the channel for a little while will know I'm a big fan of women's football generally. I spend more time watching the women's game than I do the men's. And not only that, but I am also a big fan of Rose Lavelle, the US women's national team player. So much so that I own a pair of her signature boots. These are like absolute gold dust, impossible to get hold of only released in her size. And I actually have another pair of her boots that are unreleased samples uh, from New Balance, which are on the way to me as we speak. So we'll do a review on those as well. So remember to like the video, get subscribed to the channel, and you can support us, patreon.com forward slash bootwizard. But that's not what we're here for today. What we are here for today is to look at a brand new limited edition Rose Lavelle New Balance boot, the Sweet Chaos. In case you didn't guess, I'm very excited about today. So let's get these straight out of the box. They arrived very, very recently uh, from soccer.com. So these were only available through New Balance in the US and through soccer.com, which is an absolute nightmare when you're over in Europe because you get hit with import charges. New Balance uh, US don't even ship over here. Um, so thankfully, when these did arrive, I managed to avoid most of the import charges. I just paid the cost from soccer.com. That doesn't happen very often. Then you have to get them shipped from the US anyway. Enough of that, let's get these out of the box. Uh, you will notice, firstly, at the box, this is a special customized Rose Lavelle box with the Sweet Chaos on the top of the boot, which is kind of shiny, which is very nice. The little New Balance logo, it's in a, I don't know if you can see it very well, it's in a white pattern, which actually is reflected on the boots. The Rose logo, so this is Rose Lavelle's logo, which has to be one of the coolest logos in football today. Like. Name me a better logo. Who's got a better logo than that? That's really, really nice. Um, same on either side of the box. Now, it's cool that this is not just a standard New Balance box, of course. However, it's not particularly fancy because all that is, is a sleeve. So that's a sleeve that comes off and all you are left with is the white box. So it's a nice, it's a nice touch, but it's not, I'm not blown away by it for a limited edition uh, boot. We'll get more into that in a bit. So opening up the box inside, it's again standard box. There is nothing on the box, on the lid. It's just a white cardboard box. And then inside we get the boots. Oh, these are freaking glorious. There's loads of nice little details on these, but overall, look at that. Such a nice looking boot. Uh, New Balance released a general release football boot that was basically the same as this um, as well, but it's not the limited edition, it's not the Rose Lavelle. Um, so if you do fancy picking those up, uh, then do hit the top link down in my top pin comment and you can check out my full review of the Tequila and I'll link that up in the top corner. Uh, but there is no string bag in here. You get a little bit of, uh, of paper, um, which is not customized at all. It's not Rose Lavelle paper, it's just New, New Balance. Uh, you get the shoehorn, which I tell you, you need uh, to try and get these boots on but no string bag, which again is disappointing. Now there wasn't a huge premium um, on top of these boots compared to what you pay for a regular Tequila, but I would have liked to have seen them go the extra mile, the, a nicer box uh, for better presentation, um, a nicer string bag, things like that. Now, I understand why the women's football is not as popular as men's football, and they are not likely to sell out as quickly as some other men's releases would do, and therefore, keeping the costs low is probably a priority. However, I think, and I think this about a lot of companies and a lot of things when it comes to women's football, you have to invest in the product in order to get returns from it. You can't just expect it to flourish by itself. Had they released a crazy presentation box with this, put a really cool string bag in it, then you really start to build hype and generate interest. And I would have shown these boots to you guys, you'd be like, oh my God. And then maybe next time they drop a Lavelle boot, 
everyone's trying to get them and they're generating their own hype, I think they needed to invest a little bit more. And the previous boot, the uh, the one I showed you earlier, this one here, uh, this came with a string bag, which was white and rose gold, which look at that sole plate, man, that is glorious, um, which came with a string bag in white and rose gold, but just a standard New Balance box. They kind of need to at least kind of mesh those two ideas together, in my opinion. Um, they would have still made profit, these are limited to only 116 pairs. How hard would it have been to kind of up the, the quality game and really make these stand out and really drive interest towards Rose Lavelle? But that is enough of me ranting about what's wrong with these boots because that's like the only thing that's wrong with these boots. Let's have a look at them. Yay! Okay, so are these boots actually any different from a standard New Balance Tequila? And quite simply, the answer is no, they're exactly the same. There's no difference in terms of the performance, in terms of how these are set up. There's no different materials. It's just a different colorway. It's a signature colorway release, which is what we expect from pretty much most pro releases. Uh, the original uh, Lavelle boot that was released, these ones here, these actually did have a difference. They had the custom pro sole plate on it. So this was the sole plate that Rose Lavelle was actually using at the time that was custom. This sole plate was never on the V1. Um, it's the sole plate they ended up putting on the V2. Um, so that was a nice little touch, but nothing here. This is the standard sole plate, which as you will see, is basically the same as the V2 sole plate. But sticking with the sole plate here, you can see that it does have the Sweet Chaos written in the sole plate here, which is very, very cool. So that kind of catches the light as well. And then as you move down the boot, you can see it's got the patterning that matches what was on the box all the way down into this area here, which is the uh, kind of, I don't know, what are they, squares? Just looks very cool. Um, it's like kind of resin raised areas. Um, I really like that. And then back into the rest of the sole plate. So that's the first kind of indication that you've got a Rose Lavelle signature boot here. Uh, now, again, there is a standard variation of this, which is basically the same boot, but doesn't have the Sweet Chaos on it. It doesn't have the other touches, which I'll get to in a second, which is a little disappointing. And I, again, I understand why they've done it. It's probably for costs. This is just, they've added extra things to an existing boot. It would have been nice if this had been kept as an exclusive Rose Lavelle boot, or they'd have added a couple of extra touches, like maybe some red rose, some pink, you know, keep the theme um, to the Rose Lavelle boot. Uh, maybe the New Balance, something like that, because the actual, I believe it's even called the Sweet Chaos Pack, is basically the same boot without the touches, which I think takes away uh, from some of how special this particular boot is, and that's a little bit disappointing. But on the whole, look at it. I think this looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I quite like the design and the kinetic stitch on this boot, even if I don't love the way it performs. Um, I think the way that it looks is really, really nice, inspired by nature, according to New Balance. And then you've got your more, your harder kind of striking elements around the top here, and that pattern in the New Balance N as well. Uh, New Balance do a pretty good job of making the N look half decent. Um, it's a hard thing to make look good. But on the whole, decent looking boot. However, boom, you get the Rose Lavelle logo on the back, which is the key area of appeal, I suppose here, that Rose Lavelle logo in silver, which is beautiful. And then these are limited to only 116 pairs. I have paired number 93 out of 116. So let's get that a bit closer for you and get the camera to focus. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Maybe we'll just put a picture up instead. On the whole, an absolutely stunning signature boot for one of the world's best players. Uh, something that I love to see more of is more colorways coming out for top women's players. Um, I would have liked to have seen kind of more put into the presentation. And as I say, I really think that companies need to invest in order to get a return in the future. They can't just expect it to happen. Same applies to women's football in general. We have to invest in it. We have to watch it. We have to support it. And the same applies to federations. They have to actually support it before we will see a return on that investment. We are getting there. It's improving all the time in terms of financial backing. And, you know, they've got the new WSL um, deal with Sky, which is going to put more money into the league 
She's all good stuff. I've got completely off topic here. But anyway, Rose Lavelle Tequila V3 Pros, signature edition, limited to only 116 pairs. It's 116 because her international shirt number is number 16. She has pair number 16. And I think they're awesome. They're a nice one to have in my collection. I'm sure you'll see them on my shelf very, very soon. Do let me know what you think. Do you like the boots? Do you think that they are a good signature edition? Do you think that they should invest more money in things like this? Do you think that women's football in general deserves more money to be invested into it? I realize that that's a topic that should spark some people and maybe start some fights. But anyway, that's all from me here today. Remember to like the video, get subscribed. If you can support us, patreon.com forward slash bootwizard. And if you want to pick up the regular release pair of these, then please hit the top pinned comment in the comment, top pinned comment in the comments down below. That makes sense, right? I've uh, been speaking for too long. We will see you soon. Goodbye.